Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a new Viking Alterations. Got a couple singles that I'm going to be talking to you about today. Uh, normally I do these uh, one at a time, but I want to try something a little bit different here. Unless it's a song that I'm like super excited about and I don't want to wait till I've, you know, heard another one and get a couple together. But I want to try to do about two to three singles in a video if I possibly can. Uh, today I've only got two to talk about. This way I don't, you know, waste, I guess you can say, time on just, you know, a few minutes on one song. But uh, like I said, unless it's something I'm just like super excited about. But anyway, the first one that I want to talk to you about today is the brand new one from the band Shed the Skin. Entitled Ingress Thomogenesis. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And yeah, this is the first single off of the band's forthcoming fourth full-length album entitled Thomogenesis, due out late May on Hell's Headbangers Records. Um, yeah, I love uh, Shed the Skin. And you know, when I heard they had a new one coming out and they had dropped a single for it, couldn't wait to hear it. And you know, I just love the intro riff uh, to this song and the way it mixes with the bass. It has a real horror vibe to it, honestly. That's what I was getting. It was almost like, you know, the music you would hear in a horror film and during certain scenes. I mean, the guitars overall, they're heavy tone, hitting you with these, you know, mid to fast paced riffs uh, that are almost tremolo at times. And they have a nice solo at the 323 mark. Um, now, speaking of the bass, as I said, the bass is actually, you know, thick and heavy. It's right up there in the mix, and it's very easily heard. I just love the twang that it has to it. Always, you know, of course, you know me, I love bass, and when I hear the bass really good in a song, I love it. But if it has just a slight twang to it, I don't know, there's something about it I it makes me love it even more. Um, and, of course, you know, with a beast like Kyle Severin on the drums, you're going to have a solid drum production, and this thing is just powerful sounding. I love his double bass work, love the blast beats, and he does some really good patterns, rolls, and fills throughout this entire song. And then finally, you have Ash's vocals that sounds just as killer as ever. You've got these really powerful low growls, throwing in these really sick screams at times. Um, overall, I think this is just an absolute banger of a song. Um, I've been a fan of them, and pretty much anything that Ash Thomas has done with any of his other projects. In fact, I just learned of a new project, uh, well, it's new to me, but it's an older project that I'm uh, going to be picking up on uh, Bandcamp Friday, so keep an eye out for that. But, uh, yeah, you know, for for some time I've been a fan of this band, and this song has got me very anxious to hear the rest of this album. The album cover is just absolutely badass. So, yeah, late May, uh, no definitive date yet for the new Shed the Skin, but it is coming on Hell's Headbanger, so I'll be definitely keeping an eye out for that. Uh, the other song that I want to talk to you about today is the brand new one from Misery Index entitled The Eaters and the Eaten. And this is the uh, first single off of their forthcoming seventh full-length album entitled Complete Control, due out May 13th on Century Media Records. Uh, again, another uh, band that I've been a fan of for quite some time. Um, after I've listened to this song several times, I really think there's some really great guitar work on here. They're heavy toned, with honestly a little bit of a Vader-ish vibe to them at times. Uh, they hit you with these, you know, fast-paced riffs and uh, some kind of more mid-paced, chuggy moments. Uh, one thing I picked out at about the 245 mark, the riff at this particular moment is very black metal-ish with this tremolo picking, and then it leads into a really nice solo, and I just love that heavy-ass riff directly after the solo. Absolutely badass, in my opinion. Uh, the bass uh, is equally as heavy as the guitars, and in fact, it works really well with the guitars to produce a nice thick wall of heaviness to the song. Um, you can pick it out, but it's not super high up in the mix compared to everything else. Um, again, when it comes to the drums, another powerful drum production here. I like the snap to the snare. Um, I love the kick drum sound on here. There's some really nice uh, patterns, rolls, and fills as well. Uh, really great blast beats, and I just love this super quick double bass work on this song. Uh, then you top everything off with a nice twin vocal attack. You have one that kind of reminds me of like a... Johnny Hedlund-ish style of uh, growling or, you know, roaring. And then you have another one that's more of a heavier, gruffer growl style. Really killer sounding. And again, overall, I think this is just another banger of a song. It's heavy. It's headbangable with some really nice aggression to it. Um, 
it again, it has me really anxious to pick up this Baltimore based Death Grind Cruise uh, new album. And honestly, I mean, May is shaping up to be a heavy as hell month, which is great because that's my birthday month. I mean, you got. You know, of course, new Shed the Skin coming. You got the new Misery Index coming. Obscene's got a new album coming out. And in fact, there was another one that I read on Facebook, and I was interacting with the band, one of the band members from it, and I can't remember off the top of my head who it was that has an album coming out uh, the same day as Misery Index. So it's like, damn, my birthday month is going to be heavy as hell. I cannot wait. So yeah, go check out these new songs from Shed the Skin and Misery Index. Uh, Hopefully you don't mind me doing a little bit longer video and doing more than one single a video because, like I said, I think in the end it'd be a little bit easier to do it this way instead of just doing one video for just one song and only being like a couple minutes long. So if you like this stuff, let me know. But yeah, go check out these new songs. And until next time, stay brutal.